Tonight is about bringing together gravity and grace, fundamental concepts of both physics and ballet, and actually showing how dancers and physicists can speak the same language. Up in Coventry, we research biomechanics, which is basically applying physics to moving objects, and those objects are people. If you do understand forces and torques, it means you can use your body better, more effectively, you're going to be less likely to be injured, and it's going to be more fun. Seeing your body move on a screen, it can really help to understand how um, everything works mechanically so that we can perform better. I often hear people come away from a ballet performance and say they were defying gravity or doing superhuman feats, and, and really that is what we are trying to achieve, but within that is the laws of physics that we can't escape. And so I think something like this evening will really help to shed light on how those two disciplines are linked. When I first heard about tonight, it sounded initially like a quite an unusual partnership, which is why it's important to put them together, I guess. Um, it will bring quite a diverse audience, patrons of the Royal Opera House and obviously people that are already interested in physics. I'd like to think that people are in the audience going, I do understand a bit about physics and I actually do understand a bit about ballet. That simulation software can take all the different aspects of a grand jeté or a grand leap and actually map it out before you. So you can see all the muscle groups working together and all the forces acting at the same time. I'm a physicist, but I'm also a trained ballet dancer. For me, it was really nice that my two passions in life have come together in this really great evening.